A feast celebrated throughout the Christian world, but especially by Franciscans. On June the 12th and 13th, the custody of the Holy Land celebrates the feast of its patron, St. Anthony of Padua. In the Franciscan convent in Jerusalem, it is two days of great celebrations. On the evening of June the 12th, together with the whole church, the Franciscans celebrated the second Vespers of the Solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity, and at the same time the Vespers of the Solemnity of St. Anthony. The prayer was presided over by Brother Francesco Patton, Custers of the Holy Land. He recalled how our patron often reflects in his sermons on the mystery of the Trinity, guiding us to discover how the triune God is the origin, form and goal of all creation. At the end of the prayer, the distribution of St. Anthony's bread, the bread of the poor, a tradition that is still cherished today which began with a miracle performed by St. Anthony involving a child. The world is full of the miracles that are obtained through the intercession of St. Anthony, said Pope Pius XI. On June the 13th, the custard presided over Mass at St. Saviour's Church. Present at the celebration were His Beatitude Pier Battista Pizzaballa, Patriarch of Jerusalem of the Latins, and representatives of the Jerusalem churches, as well as civil authorities. In the words of the Custers of the Holy Land, some episodes of the saint's life echo, highlighting his figure as a witness and herald of peace. Anthony belongs to the first generation of Friars Minor, those who had been able to know St. Francis of Assisi in person and had drawn from him a radically evangelical form of Christian life. Anthony sought to bring peace especially within cities and within families, especially in frequent cases of domestic violence, up to and including what today is called feminicide. Moving from St. Anthony's biography to the sermons, which also contain the themes of his preaching, the word peace turns out to be the one most pronounced. It recurs no less than 266 times. The first peace you must have with your neighbor, the second with yourself, and so you will also have the third peace with God in heaven. Sant'Antonio è prima di tutto un testimone nel senso che lui mette in gioco la sua vita. Saint Anthony is first of all a witness in the sense that he puts his life on the line to proclaim the gospel. Today I was highlighting especially to witness peace in a very difficult context because conflicts in the Middle Ages were very frequent. Then Anthony is also a great preacher. We remember him as a great preacher and a great teacher of theology. Today I have highlighted the theme of peace. Anthony's preaching is complete. His sermons contain thousands and thousands of quotations from sacred scripture to the point that Pope Gregory IX called him the Ark of the Testament that is, the one that kept and contained the sacred scriptures. Then St. Anthony is dear to the whole world. We know that he was born Portuguese in Lisbon, then became Italian by adoption in Padua, but actually Anthony, like any saint, belongs to the whole world. Per così dire, portoghese a Lisbona, poi è diventato italiano d'adozione a Padova, ma in realtà Antonio, come ogni santo, appartiene a tutto il mondo. I belong to a fraternity at the Grotte de Saint Antoine Shrine where Saint Anthony came in the summer of 1226. We think this is where he learnt of the death of Saint Francis. Saint Anthony stayed there some time and left us a beautiful testimony of preaching but also of dialogue as a way to restore peace. Every June the 13th, the Feast of the Saint in the Franciscan Friary in Jerusalem is a day of great celebrations, also to remember the long journey travelled by the custody itself. Capable not so much of speaking as of witnessing to our love for Christ, our love for the Holy Land, which is the fifth gospel, our love for the people who live here, and in this context that makes us capable of living a serious commitment to peace. Franciscans have been present in the Holy Land for more than 800 years. From the very beginning they have been an international community, Right now, the custody of the Holy Land has 300 missionaries from 64 nationalities, 80 shrines, 25 parishes, 
18 schools and a large number of social works.